Well, hello there once again, motorsport fans. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to change the needle clip position on these KDM 50 carburetors. This video is a follow-up to what I did last week on how to change the jets. That's another point of adjustment, mainly affects your mid-range, works in with the main jet. Um, definitely worth doing if, uh, if you feel like it needs it in the mid-range there. Take your seat off, take your tank off, it's gonna give you a bit more space to work around in here. Once you've done that, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so I've removed the, uh, the seat and the tank. And like I said before, there's a bit more difficulty of doing this than um, just changing the jets over us. But um, if you take your time, you should get it right. So the first thing we're gonna do is unscrew this cap here on top of the carburetor. Now I've also already loosened off these two hose clamps, uh, which are holding the boots on so we can spin the carburetor a bit. So I'm gonna unscrew this in anti-clockwise direction, okay? A little bit of pressure there, but not much. There is a spring under there, just bear in mind. Okay, so that's come out, and I'm just gonna spin that forward, okay? Pull that out. And there we go. And this is the assembly. So we've got the needle there, the throttle slide there, a spring, okay, to get the pressure on, and a throttle cable, which is terminated here, right there on that side. So you can see this bit of white plastic here, okay? There's a little notch on that that sits in the hole next to where the throttle cable's terminated, okay? So just remember that. So what we need to do to remove the throttle slide and needle is we need to compress, compress the spring like that to get the throttle cable to come out, as you can see there. And then we need to push the white plastic notch out like that on the opposite side, move the cable over, and there we go. Okay, now I made that look very easy. You might take you a couple of goes to get it. Okay, bear in mind that um, needle can just fall out, so when you take it off, just, just be careful with that. So let's take this over to the workbench and um, have a bit of a closer look. So here we have the uh, throttle slide or the throttle valve with the needle on the workbench here. So if we look in from the top there, we're just gonna grab it there and we're gonna push the needle out, the needle just falls out. So that's the hole there where the needle come from. These holes here, that's what the throttle cable was sitting in before, okay? So we'll put that to the side and we'll concentrate here on the needle. Okay, so basically with the needle, you've got four positions on these KDM 50s. So you've got one at the top, Mine set on two here where the clip is. There's three below there and there's a fourth, okay? So if you wanna change the clip position, you physically remove this clip, okay? So you might wanna use a pair of pliers or get your fingernails underneath it and you'll move it up or down to your desired um, clip position. So moving it upwards is going to create a leaner condition and moving it downwards is going to create a richer condition, meaning more mixture, okay? So once you remove it, Put it to the correct position you'd like, then reinstall it, just like this. Head back over to the bike and um, reinstall it into the carburetor. So we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the, um, the throttle slide and, and needle into the carburetor. So this is the opposite of what we just did, but there's a couple of, um, a couple of tricks to, to getting this done a bit easier. So what we do is the end of the throttle cable here, we try to line up with these holes here, okay? Let's make it easier. So what I'm gonna do here, I've got that there, I'm gonna try to line it up like that, and then I'm gonna compress the spring. And see that pops straight out, okay? So we're gonna then, we're gonna grab the throttle cable, move it over to the other hole, and let it go, okay? So now, you can see it entered, the throttle cable entered through that hole, okay? and then is now in this hole. But what we need to do is get this white plastic I was talking about before to, um, to close off that second hole so the throttle cable doesn't come out. So to do that, we just flip, flip it over and see, see this white bit of plastic's not straight, so it's not sitting quite flush. So give it a bit of a, bit of a jiggle, and there you go, here a little click, and it'll be in there. So you can see now, that white plastic is sitting in that hole there. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, so that's, that's back to how it came out. Okay, so now you wanna reinstall it into the carburetor. 
Now the needle here sits in that jet in the bottom and then there's a notch right here, okay? Now that sits, sits there. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a little indentation coming out and that's what the, uh, the throttle slide feeds onto. So we're gonna just put it in like this, like that, give it a bit of jiggle and it needs to go down further than flush. So right now it's sitting on flush. That's not far enough, it needs to go in further. There we go, so that's down a little bit more. So that goes in well. Now we're gonna flip the carburetor up and we're gonna screw the top back on. So make sure that's relatively tight. So what we do now, which is quite important, is make sure you've got slack in the throttle cable. So have a pull of your throttle and make sure the, uh, the cable's not hard on and there is slack there before the cable gets pulled. And just make sure the throttle's functioning correctly. So that's about it, guys. So make sure the top here's done up tight. Um, make sure you do up these two boots again. And that's pretty much it. So it's, it's a bit more advanced than installing jets, but it's not, a, it's not rocket science, you know? So take your time, you will get it right. And uh, Justin there was great for that fine tuning. Like I said, my uh, clip position is on the, uh, the second from the top, which most guys that I'll speak to end up uh, having their clip position on second from the top. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.